In and out the bamboo forest, in and out the bamboo forest, in and out bamboo forest. Who will be my partner? Who will be my partner during measuring? Teacher me. Very good. It's your teacher, Anansieta. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Who can remind me? What did we do yesterday? What did we learn yesterday? We learned which one holds more. Very good. And we looked at different capacity of things. Capacity of the bucket. We looked at the capacity of the jug. We looked at how much can this tumbler hold compared to this cup. The bowl, the bottle, the kettle. Do you remember our kettle? Nice. So, today we want to ask ourselves, which one holds less? Class, which one holds less? From the word less, what do you understand by the term less? Less means little. Less means little, small. When I look at this ball, look at this ball and this glass. Do you know it's even more? Imagine this, I can arrange like three or four glasses of the same size inside. What does this one tell us? This one tells us that this ball is big and the glass is small. So when we compare the volume of this glass and the volume of the ball, we will say this glass holds less because look, when I only pour one glass, this is the how little it is when it comes in the ball. So we can say the Ball holds more, or the glass holds less. Now, let's look at this jug. Look at the small jug. We say we have the small jug and the big jug. And when you compare it with the ball, what can you say about the two? See, if I put my jug inside, you might not see it. So what if I take something like water and then... I pour it in this jug. See? Teacher, your water looks nice. Thank you. I know you love juice. That's why you're admiring this water. But this is not juice. Don't even dare test it. Bad. Very dangerous. What can you say about this jug? The jug holds less because it cannot fill the, the bowl. So we will continue like this, even at home, I want you to go and measure the size of the jug, the sufferias, the basins, the buckets at home, and find out among this, between the sufferia and the jug, which one holds more? Between the jug and the basin, which one holds more? Between the glass and the jug, and the, and the glass, the jug and the glass, which one holds more or which one? holds less. So when you compare the cup here and the bottle, this is the cup you're talking about. When you compare this cup and this bottle, what can you say? What can you say? Look at their size. We can say the cup holds less than the bottle. The cup holds less than the bottle. Someone be prepared. Number two, I'm not doing it for you. I want someone to give me the sentence. We are talking about this jug. Compare this jug and the kettle. Look at them nicely. What can you say about this jug and the kettle? What can you say? If I take this kettle like this, then I pour it in the jug. Will I fill the jug? No. I need like four or five or six of them. I don't know how many they are for me to fill the jug. So we can say the jug, the kettle holds less. The kettle holds less than the jug. Oscar? Please do, do for us number three. You come and measure and tell us. The bucket is there. The tumbler is here. Compare this tumbler and the bucket and you tell me. What can you say about this jug? 
the tumbler and the bucket. What can you say about the bucket and the tumbler? We are saying, I'm waiting for your answer, Oscar. Teacher, the tumbler holds less than the bucket. The tumbler holds less than the bucket. So when you go home today in the evening, I want you to go and measure the size of the jug compare it with your cup, the one you use for taking tea. Then you, there is the black plastic drum that is always in the kitchen with water. You compare it with the bucket and tell me between the two, which one holds less or which one holds more? You compare the mug mommy uses for taking tea with your cup and tell me which one holds less and which one holds more. It was nice having you around. I wish you well and hope to see you in the next lesson.